It means a lot to me. Like that I can show people, like I can inspire people. What What were your thoughts when you got this award? You know, it's been months, but now you're here. Um, what were your thoughts? Mm, I had a lot of thoughts. What What was it like last season being a freshman and doing what you did, getting on the football field, playing varsity at times, um, doing things like that? It was fun. And I liked it. Did you ever imagine you'd get to that point being a double amputee and, and and playing such a tough sport? No. But I always, I've always played it since I was little, mm -hmm. so. I know I could. And, and now you're going to play next season without the prosthetics. What led to that decision? I watched some videos of when I was in Pee Wee, and then I just said, I'm just going to do that again. So you played in Pee Wee without prosthetics? Yes, sir. So you have experience at this? Yes, sir. <laughs> good, good. Well, how do you keep trying to inspire people as you move forward here? Because you've got three years of high school left. I don't know. Just got to work hard and do it. Probably need to know about Joe and his situation, but he he has recently met with the coaches. He's decided he's gonna he's gonna try to play without the prosthetic this year. He went through spring football and. What it allows him to do is allows him to play lower. He plays on the defensive line and plays nose guard, and it allows him to get some leverage and actually, you know, get off the ball and and be for, be uh, more productive. So, uh, as you can see, he's a very very strong man up top, and uh, we're so excited and humbled, um, um, and just we really appreciate this award. Because you see the smile on his face, that is every single day. He walks by my office four or five times a day, and uh, that smile is on his face every day. So uh, we thank you guys, um, and we are very appreciative of, of, of this award for Joe and his family.